Now let's create a model function to make the piece move. Okay. So let's go to chess engine here. Um, this is initialize game. Okay. So let's create another one here. Funk move piece. Okay. And what information do we need to provide to move a piece? Yes. From column, right? From row to two column and two row. It makes sense, right? And uh, we don't need to return anything here. So, oh, int, yes. So now, um, how do we make a move? So we need to find the piece first, right? In this location. Um, let's create a handy helper method to find out the piece, okay? So, funk piece at location, right? Colon int row int. Let's return the piece. So what's the data type? Um, chess piece, chess piece. But there might be none of the piece right at this location. So there's a better way to handle that. We can add a question mark here, means if we cannot find the piece at this location, right? We'll return nil. It means nothing. So let's go through all the pieces in the pieces box, right? So piece in pieces. For that, if column, right? Matches the piece map, piece location and row, same thing, matches piece dot row. So we know we, we do find, right? We, we do find the piece, so we can return the piece, return the piece, yeah. Can we add like something like that? Else, return nil. This is the mistakes, right? This is the mistake. Uh, beginners often encounters here. No, if we return nil here, it means we only check the first piece. If we cannot find it, we need to continue searching, right? We cannot return too quickly. So the correct way to do that is after we look through all the pieces, right? In the pieces in this set, this, this container, this set, right? Now we know we didn't find anything, so return nil. With that ready, with this function ready, we can do something here. Um, so the idea is we'll remove the piece at this location, right? And insert a new one at this location. Let's make it happen. So we can say if piece at, right? If there's nothing here, piece at from column and from row. If piece at that is nil, 
equals nil, we'll do nothing, return. Otherwise, we can right keep going. And uh, Swift, the programming language you are using here in Xcode to build the iOS app, provides a better way to do that. Mm. A better way? Yeah, it's like um, we can do something like guard. Let candidate, right? Candidate, candidate equals piece at from column and from row. If let, it means if we do find one candidate here, if that else so in this block we'll handle the else case it means we cannot find it means that one is nil so we'll return so otherwise here it means candidate is not nil so now we because we can use the guard the the better way to handle that we can remove that but the idea is same, similar to what I just explained. So now it means we do find the candidate, right? So we can remove this piece, right? Candidate piece from here, from the piece, pieces, pieces set dot remove member candidate, yeah and we'll insert what's that mutating make self mutable okay fix that because we are changing the pieces right properly here so we have to mark right the function to be mutating so now we remove we remove the the piece from the uh, from the board actually so now we need to add a new one right in the destination location here so um, let can we do directory like here pieces insert insert a member so now, what's the mem new member? Um, it should be chess piece, right? So what's the colon? Of course, is two, right? Colon row is two row. What is the image name? It's the candidate, right? Dot piece image name. Okay, let's give it a try. So how do we test that? We can go to here, we can manually write, this is a temporary testing code, okay? So let's run it to make sure it's still, everything is still fine here. Yes, now after we put the all the initial pieces there let's make a move so chess engine dot move piece let's move the knight okay here so from one zero right two to here two two okay so one zero to two two and uh, don't forget, we need to update the shadow 
same thing here. We need to update the shadow and the better to trigger repaint set needs re display. Yeah. Now let's run it. It works. You see? Of course, we cannot uh, stop here. We have to use our finger to move the piece, right? Okay, uh, we'll do this in our next video. See you next time.